It takes up to 5,000 kilograms of these flowers to make just one kilo of Bulgarian rose oil. It's worth it because luxury brands will pay top dollar to put the oil in their perfumes. A single kilogram of oil can sell for $15,000. It adds a little je ne sais quoi, and it's true, it's so complex to describe this. It is citrusy, it is fruity, it is green. It's quite magical. And though demand is high, there's still a problem. Harvesters have only a few weeks all year to gather about 450 tons of roses to satisfy the luxury perfume industry's demand. So why do brands like Tom Ford and Louis Vuitton clamor for their share of Bulgarian rose oil? And why is it so expensive? The sun rises over this farm in Bulgaria's Rose Valley. But in this serene landscape, harvesters like Fegan have been rushing since 5 a.m. to collect as many roses as they can. They only have a few weeks until the roses wilt and become unusable. And a limited supply means a higher price tag. The more flowers harvested in the morning hours, the better, because that's when the petals have the highest oil concentration. Bulgarian roses, also known as damask roses, have a particularly low oil content compared to other rose varieties, so it's vital to extract as much oil as possible. Once there are enough bags of roses to fill a truckload, they're delivered to the distillery. To extract the highest concentration of rose oil, the petals must be distilled immediately after harvesting. Дистилацията не само на същия ден не може 2-3 часа не може да стои, за да може маслото да е качествено, рандемана да е добър, миризмата да е добра, да е ароматна и така нататък. The longer producers wait, the less potent and therefore less valuable their oil becomes. Agro product employs about 120 people during the brief harvesting season and says it spends an average of $8,000 per kilo of oil on labor. But that kilo can be sold for more than 1.5 times that amount. See, it's only very few here because as soon as they have a little truck load, we have the truck just behind us there, uh, they are taken to the factory right away. So this is very important, especially in Bulgaria. They are very good at that. That's Christophe Lodamiel. He's a master perfumer who's created scents for brands like Ralph Lauren and Tom Ford. He's at the distillery today on a consulting visit. They take those bags and we can see that little truck going to the factory and they're going to be extracted right away because it does make a difference if you wait one or two days, etc. Once the roses arrive at the distillery, workers must move quickly. They weigh the petals and pour them into the distillation vat. Thousands of soft pink petals are mixed with water and boiled down to this colorless sludge. Rosewood maslo, za da stane po, to ne za da stane, za da je poskapo, to je za što to ne se trudim poveće, hora ta poveće hora ni treba za poleto za da oberat v mal po malko vreme od časove poveče svet za da dojde po brzo v distilerijata za da možda izvarjavame Every part of this process is controlled. The steam is exactly 105 degrees Celsius and the pressure at 5.5 bar gauge. Agro Products says these measurements optimize the quality of its rose oil and the consistency makes its product more reliable. The mixture flows through several distillation apparatuses before the oil can finally be separated from the water. For a single kilogram of rose oil, producers need to harvest and process as much as 5,000 kilograms of Bulgarian rose petals. You see this bottle right here? This is what you get if you harvest this during a whole season from three rows, you get just this bottle. One kilo is this. So four of those goes in here. Voila. 
Bulgarian rose oil is sought after by established luxury fragrance houses such as Tom Ford and Louis Vuitton, as well as newer shops like Gloss Modern. The rose is a rose is a rose, unless of course it's a Bulgarian rose. So we've smelled a lot of different roses and I actually wasn't a fan of too many different rose fragrances before. I felt like they smelled like my grandmother or, um, and so when we smelled this, it actually smelled like as if you had a bouquet of roses and it smelled like a fresh, fresh rose. So here we are. So this is the production that just happened. It's straight from the factory in this raw bottle. This is so potent. This is a final risk magical when it's really fresh. So some of it is a bit offensive, like stringent or uh, almost aggressive because it's so fresh. And then in the older one, the aged one, it's like a nice wine. Tremendous, tremendous difference. Yeah, bon. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, because that's what we tell everybody. After the oil has been aged for at least three months, it can finally be incorporated into perfumes. Kuen says the unique scent profile of Bulgarian rose oil makes it worthy of its high price point. We pay between ten to fifteen thousand um, dollars for kilo for Bulgarian rose oil, and that's the pure Bulgarian rose oil, undiluted. I feel it's definitely worth the price. It's extremely unique. Studies have found more than 300 compounds in damask rose oil, making it more complex than other varieties. The damask rose, or Rosa damascena, originated in the Middle East, where its oil has been extracted since the 7th century. Around 400 years ago, the farmers began cultivating these roses in what's now known as Bulgaria's Rose Valley. And this is one particular thing about this valley, is that it's cold and wet. If you look at other rose regions in the world, some are cold but dry, uh, some are not as high as here. So this is very particular of this terroir here in Bulgaria and gives this richness of the oil. The cooler spring temperatures prevent the rose petals from forming a protective wax and the humidity allows higher oil saturation in the rose. This year, the season was delayed a couple of weeks because of unexpected rainfall and colder than usual temperatures. Ironically, humidity and cool temperatures are two of the factors that make Bulgarian roses stand out from others. Then there's the soil. Plus, the Damascenian rose has all these spicy and fruity notes. So they are very well preserved around here. And this is one reason why we like this Bulgarian rose. There is no sign of Bulgarian rose oil's global demand slowing down. The rose oil market is estimated to expand at a compound annual growth rate of 6.8% between 2019 and 2025. Organic rose oil, like that produced by Agroproduct, is the fastest growing segment. But the scent is what will keep perfumers like Christophe coming back for more. I don't know, I said already, it's one of those notes, you put it in almost anything, it makes it nicer. We had a joke with some other perfumers. Uh, we know we have one or two rose uh, qualities. We know, well, oh, just put that, just put a little bit, just a little bit, eh? and clack, it gives a, either sparkle or, or um, body uh, to a fragrance. So it's, mm, it's really nice. <laughs>